the American Airlines Center is the place to be tonight. The Mavericks taking on the Suns. Suns come into this thing red hot, winning six straight. It's always a little bit of a bad blood between these two teams, so it should be fun. Joining me now to talk about it is Mavericks CEO, Sit Marshall. And so Sit, first of all, thank you so much for giving us some time. We wanted to have Mark, but he was a little bit too busy. He's busy. So, there you go. So let's talk about this new partnership because you can watch this ball game right here on WFAA. Of course, we're excited. Tell me why this deal made sense for the Mavericks and for Maverick fans. I'm so excited about this because we've been working for a while to try to increase viewership. So 7 million people will be able to watch our game tonight and 13 total, including three nationally televised games. But we're excited because this arena holds about 20,000 people but not 7 million can watch our game. And we're excited about it. We're excited about our team and we just wanted to increase viewership and this partnership is so important. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We wanted to see this for a while. And listen, if we have 7 million people watching tonight, that would be good for us too. Yes, um, yes. Let's talk about the ownership change. Okay. Um, what has it meant for you as CEO having the Adelson and Dumont family come in and, and now have a majority stake in this team? Oh, I'm excited about it. It means a lot that, I mean, they could go anywhere in the world with their investment, but to bring it to Dallas, which is a great place. We were at an event last night where we are the number one sports uh, destination. And so to have them invest in us, and we know what that means. We know what business they're in, uh, the hospitality business, the entertainment uh, business. And Mark Cuban has said for a long time, when people talk about going on vacation, he wants people to be able to say they want to go on vacation in Dallas. And so that's the vision that we will have a big entertainment center, a big, uh, you know, just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of activity that people can come and enjoy. And so that's what it means, investment in Dallas. There you go, keeping it here in the city, right? Keeping the team stays right here in the here city, right? In the, well, in this region, I assume it's the city. I mean, I don't know, the plans aren't there yet. And then we have a lot to do, legislative-wise and all that, but the vision is that you're going to see a lot of enhancements in this very arena. In fact, I'm getting ready to go and do a walkthrough with some people right now. So you'll see a lot of money put into this arena, but then we will build something that will truly be a destination spot for Dallas, and I can't wait. All right, great, Sint Marshall. Thanks so much for the yeah. time. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Of course, tip-off is at 7.30. You can watch it right here on WFAA.